What Deep Dreaming is doing is taking the backprop gradient activations and simply adding it back to the image, running that same process again and again in a loop. And I think Dreaming is a great description of what's going on here. We're really just pushing the network in a direction and seeing what happens when left to its devices. What it's effectively doing is amplifying whatever objective is, but we get to see how that objective is optimized in the input space rather than deep into the network in some arbitrary high dimensional space that no one can understand. There are many tricks one can do to this idea, such as blurring, adding constraints to the total activation, decaying the gradient, infinitely zooming into the image by cropping and scaling, adding jitter by randomly moving the image around, or plenty of other ideas waiting to be explored. Let's take a look at a few of these. We'll just rescale our image from 0 to 1. We'll grab the max pooling layer. And now we're going to find the gradient of that layer's mean activation with respect to the input image. Copy the input image as we're going to keep adding the gradient to it. And let's run this for 200 iterations. And then we'll create a parameter step. And think of this as our learning rate, and this is how much of the gradient we're going to add back to the image. And then every 10 iterations, we'll add an image to a GIF. Now we'll build the GIF. Let's have a look at what this looks like. What we can see is pretty quickly, the activation tends to pick up the finest detailed edges of the cup, the plate, and the spoon. The structure is very local, meaning they're describing information at a very small spatial scale. We could also specify the maximal neuron's mean activation instead of the mean of the entire layer. So this will pick out the maximal neuron first in the layer. So this will give us the maximal neuron in the layer, and then we'll find the mean over that neuron. And then we'll just do exactly what we've done before. What we should see here is how the maximal neuron and a layer's activation is slowly maximized through gradient ascent. So over time, we're increasing the overall activation of the neuron we asked for. Let's try doing this for each of our max pool layers and increasing depth and then run a little longer. This will take a long time depending on your machine. So for each max pooling feature, we'll produce a new GIF. When we look at the outputs of these, we should see the representations and corresponding layers being amplified on the original input image. And as we get to later layers, it really starts to appear to hallucinate. And the patterns start to get more complex. But that's not all, though. The patterns also seem to grow larger. What that means is that at later layers, the representations span a larger part of the image. In neuroscience, we might say that this has a larger receptive field, since it's receptive to the content in a wider visual field.